what's going on all you beautiful people out there so we've got a special one here for you today um, again this is a thank you to mr shane over at tatcom again be sure to go check him out um, links are in the descriptions below so this is one that i have wanted to get my hands on since it came out and it would have never happened again never happened without uh without shane so big thanks to him so we're taking a look at the ramlock stitch today now this one is a uh, uh kind of a special edition one so their normal pricing on these guys or you know you can see them anywhere around the 300 hundred dollar mark um and then you know upwards from there so just looking at uh, just a random knife site that had them you know um had a bunch of different variations so they're showing anywhere from like i said 300 dollars up to this one here which is the apocalyptic finish on the blade um this one is actually listed at 435 dollars so this is a full serrated version um again used but you can see that blade finish there it's a really cool blade finish um you can see it does wear does give some some marks and things like that with use which gives it some character um personally i wouldn't do a full serrated version that's just me um i don't think it was necessarily his first choice either um a lot of times when you find these things in stock that's what you get so this one is from march of this year um 540 serial number which is pretty cool so you got some massive pivot hardware um you got your ram lock and then of course you got your g10 scales um, your backspacer i believe is titanium or aluminum uh it's one of the two um it doesn't really matter honestly um, you do have your uh, liners there for your ram lock system um cool knife a little large for me um as far as for being a manual knife um it's a little difficult to well i don't know it's not that bad doing index flick middle finger flick is kind of kind of hard for me but really i mean thumb roll um thumb flick or you can just do the thing with the ram lock that you do with any crossbar lock <clears throat> knife has a really good sound to it so i mean let's take a listen here So it's got a really interesting sound. Um, I'm guessing that is just because of the uh, the system and being such a big blade. Um, so I have had a auto stitch, and I actually really, really, really like the auto stitch. Um, I think that's kind of where this knife is meant to be. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, the way the uh the way the handles are and everything i mean it's a great ergonomic knife i mean you get that thing in your hand and you're locked in but um one thing i've never really cared for about these knives is the blade to handle ratio it is just absolutely i mean it's almost comical um i mean when you're choked up on this thing you've still got you know what come on two inches there sticking out the bottom um and then when you when you back up on it that's when you you've got some reach there but again you've got such a comically large finger toil that i mean it's just i don't know you do get some jimping there in the finger toil same jimping you have on the back of the blade um jimping running all down the back spacer and then <clears throat> there on the um the liners as well again i i do like it it's just i don't it's definitely not a knife for me um i can see you know where the application for it would be um, i can see why some guys that have some big old mitts would like it um i've got you know medium to large depending on the depending on the glove I've, I've, actually i really have 
you know, large or extra large hands, but then medium fingers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's a, there's really not a whole lot to uh, to go over with the knife. Um, just want, really wanted to get one on the channel. Um, really wanted to get one in my hands just to see if I liked it as much as I liked the auto. Um, again, the auto, I think it, it just feels differently because it is an auto. Um, I think it, it's, it's much easier to deploy things of that nature. So, um, your cutting edge on this guy, you're right at a three inch cutting edge. Um, blade, just a hair over three and a half total. And then you're at eight and a half total length, give or take. Let's see if I'm on on that. Pull up the actual specs on the this website that I got here. Yeah, yeah. Blade three and a quarter, cutting edge three inches, um, eight and a half inches overall. Um, so this does have the uh the new microtech m390 so you've got the m390 mk and there's your marking for that um let's see if this does okay on a lot of times serrated, serrated blades don't do great on paper tests but you ain't denying that it is shop even going through the serrations, I mean, even trying to do like a draw cut where you're cutting through the serrations, like it is, and you hear it chopping through it, but it's, they're all razor sharp. <clears throat> so, no denying it, it is a sharp blade. My only question would be, why can't they make their their out the fronts that sharp? <laughs> That's where it's funny. I've, I don't think I've ever had a actual razor sharp one from from them right from the factory i've usually had to do some work on it but this is i mean unless unless shane's done anything to it which doesn't look like he's done anything but but use it which is good um let's pull up the weight get my scales back out do, do, do. sear it out Ooh, she's a hefty. So that is 5.8 ounces, almost a six ounce knife. So that's again, that's where I'm like, you know, it's <laughs> three inch blade, six ounce knife, six ounce knife. Um, I mean, I get it. I get why it's cool. I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's just not for me. But uh, I wanted to, to get it out there for everybody to take a look at. Um, I know there's tons and tons of channels with, with this kind of with this stuff on here. I'm late to the party on this stuff, but um, it's something again, it's something I wanted to get in front of here in front of you guys. Um, if there's anything again, I, I've said it a couple times, but if there's anything you guys are wanting to check out, um, you know I may have access to it or I may own it and you know if it's something that you know something you guys are wanting to see, just let me know. I'll try my best to get it on the channel. Um, can't uh, can't answer all requests, but I will definitely try my best. So um, just let me know in the comments below. Let's get some let's get some some communication going in these comments. Um, I really appreciate everybody that does comment on my videos. Everybody that likes them, uh, you know. So please, you know, continue to do so. Like, comment, subscribe, share it. You know, if, um, share it on your social medias if you, you got something that's uh, that you like that you see here. So. But I appreciate you guys. As always, be kind, be humble, and be EDC. Y'all take care.